What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of A Reseller's Life. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, I have very special guests from List Perfectly, and I'll have them introduce themselves in just a moment. But the point of this video is to help you guys save time. You guys know right now it's very dangerous to only sell on one platform. Um, so we are live here at PoshFest 2019, and it's very important to realize that in order to be successful in e-commerce, you really need to spread your eggs into different platforms. But we all know how time intensive that is. It's very, very difficult. You guys know that. Um, you guys know that when you are listing on multiple platforms, it's very time intensive and it's very complicated. And most importantly, on top of it saving a lot of time, if you don't end items properly on the different platforms. You can actually lose your selling privileges, which is not worth it. You want to be careful. If you don't have the time or don't want to use any tools, I definitely recommend just selling on one platform. Otherwise, you're going to get in trouble or learning how to use tools to really do that. So you guys know I did a macro. I tried to automate the process because when you guys, to give you guys an idea of what List Perfectly does, uh, well, I mean, I'll let them talk about it. But as far as like saving time, what you want to do is figure out the instructions of what happens when you list on multiple platforms. So, for example, the Poshmark title is a different length than the eBay title, different length than the Mercari title. So that's like three different variables. The price, you may have different prices on different platforms because of different fees. So that might be three more variables. The description is usually the same on all platforms. Then you have shipping options on some and other ones there's not. So all of these different things are variables. And you can teach your computer to do these variables over and over again. Now. I did a macro course, which is on Skillshare for free, but it was rated like a 9 out of 10 in difficulty. It's pretty difficult. You have to learn how to use either Auto Hotkey on a PC or um, Keyword Maestro on a, macro, a MacBook, and that will allow you to automate some of these tasks, right? And people basically were saying, Chris, this is way too hard. You have to basically learn a small amount of programming in order to do it. So. There's now a lot of tools coming out, but List Perfectly is the easiest one to use. I'll let them start with just introductions. Hi, I'm Amanda with List Perfectly. And I'm Clara. So we have an exclusive today. So if you guys are on Instagram and wondering about how List Perfectly um, works, ask us questions so that we can address them on how, you know, how to best, best use them while we have the founders here. So let's get straight into it. How did you guys come up with this? Well, yeah, at least perfectly was the result of um, a couple of uh, health issues that I have, arthritis, and I have severe spine problems. And uh, Amanda got touched by my situation, and she wanted to build a solution that would allow me to maximize my sources of income at the same time that I was coping and learning to cope with my health situation. And he, she took the challenge. and. Five years ago, she started to help me, and uh, please yeah. help. Yeah, so we, we actually have been using our solution, a, a modified version. It's a little more complicated than the one that we released to everyone. But I noticed that you know she was able to ex meet and exceed her income goals yeah. just by having the right tools. And you know the other piece of List Perfectly that most people don't realize is along the way, we've been sellers for years. I've been online for 15 years. And mm -hmm. one thing that we realized is your descriptions matter. A lot of people didn't think product descriptions really mattered that much. You know, you fill in item specifics and have great photos and a great t title. But yeah. what we actually found was the, the description is the buyer's last stop. It's the reason they're looking to either buy from you or not. And by just putting a little extra effort in the description makes a difference in the sale. That's what we found. So we actually built this perfectly to solve that piece too. Um, it, with a very simplified form, you can fill it out and we'll build your description for you. We'll adjust uh, measurements so that they convert for your international buyers. There's, there's just a lot of stuff that we put in there. But of course, once you do that, you need to be able to cross post it to different channels. So we knew that was an important factor, which is why we built the cross-posting. This is incredible because cross-posting has one like thing that people don't talk about, which is if you do something incorrectly um, and each time you transfer information, there's an opportunity for the information to be corrupted or to be missing some information. So you may only copy half the description into the next platform, and that's going to prevent your buyers from understanding what you're talking about. Also, there are 
limitations on characters on different platforms. eBay, I think, has like a 30,000 character description, but it's only 500 on, let's say, Poshmark. So you need to be careful. And these different, when you are cross posting, this is one of the reasons why my macro was too hard because I had a different variable for different, each platform has a different description variable. So that would mean you'd have to teach it to shorten it to go into each platform so it wasn't wonky. And then you have to teach the person right in the description, okay, the best stuff first, then some next stuff after. And it's, it's not that easy to train someone to do that. It turned into like a pretty highly skilled job. So I want everyone to realize, the people who are listening right now, listing on multiple platforms is a very powerful. You get the traffic from multiple platforms and you don't have to, uh, it's like, the, there, are, there are platforms like Poshmark and Mercari that have no listing fee. So it's tremendous. So for me, just to give you guys an example of how powerful this is, on Mercari, because of the 10% fees, when an item sells, it pays for the work it required to list it on multiple platforms. If you pay someone to do it, you're going to be paying between $1 and $3 usually to have people cross post. And you have to rely on a human to do it. And humans make tons of mistakes because it's just, if you've ever done this, to give you guys an idea, it's about 70 steps to cross post <laughs> from one platform to another. And I count opening up the browser, moving your mouse, tab Thank to go you. from here to there. And, but you don't know that because you're a pro. You've been doing this for a while. So you feel like, oh, everyone knows how to do this. But if you try teaching a robot, which doesn't know how to do it, it doesn't know how to do it. You have to put all these instructions into it. So let's talk about which platforms you guys sell on or cross post on. So we cross post on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, Mercari. We're actually just starting, Tradesy. yeah, Trace, <laughs> Tradesy. And, um, you know, beyond what's included on List Perfectly, we also built our own website. And uh, that, was, that was a really fun experience as well. Yeah. yeah. So one more thought, because we are live here at PoshFest 2019. And they asked for me not to make content that's not Poshmark related. But I do want to say... Um, Poshmark is one of the only sites that lets you put an external link on it. Okay, so that's that's unusual. That's because Poshmark is a little bit ahead of the curve. They're not saying we're not dumb. People sell on every platform, mm -hmm. so they're encouraging you, people who are at Poshfest right now listening, to build your own brand. They give you a URL. No other website does yeah. that because they're they want to keep their customers. Like Amazon would rather die than let you know who bought their <laughs> than who bought your item. They don't want you to know. Okay, they're like the opposite of Poshmark. Poshmark's like yes. be best friends with the person that bought. Yes. You. It's like it's very different. Okay, so yeah, you can sure actually that. you can actually build a relationship with your customer base. So this is really important. You can link your website there if you guys want to start building a brand, and that's very powerful. Cool. So. They list on multiple platforms. Now we want to talk about how does it work? Let's say I'm only a Poshmark seller, only eBay seller. What happens? All right. So let's say you're just on eBay, for example. What we can help you do, like we said, we help you build the description. But the cool thing about doing it on our platform first is when you send it to eBay, eBay's really getting advanced with their AI. And, and when you put that title in, they're going to read that title and they're going to fill in a lot of item specifics for you. Mm -hmm. And what we found is that we can save you like 50% of your listing time, even if you're just listing on eBay, using the features that we have. Build your title and build everything in our platform first, then send it over there. eBay's going to read it and try to fill in as many item specifics as they can get from your title and even the category. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would say the easiest is the transfer from eBay to the other platforms because yeah. e eBay is, has more item specifics. Um, so, but you can, can you go the other direction? Can you yes, go from yes, Poshmark to eBay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we just built also to copy listings uh, from Mercari, okay, from Poshmark as well. So we can go different channels all the way around. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, even, you, can, you can even have your listings on Etsy right now and then copy them over to any, any platform that, that we have. So Poshmark, Etsy, Mercari, um, uh, <laughs> Tradesy, <laughs> no, so eBay, yeah. wherever you have your listings right yeah. now, you can use us to just transfer them. Yes. 
Awesome. So can you give us an idea a little bit of the workflow? So I did, I did a demo with Teresa before. So I basically was on, I had an eBay listing open. Do you also have drafts open on the other platforms? You can. Um, yeah. So we, we wanted to build this to work the way you work. So a lot of people will use, let's say, sell similar on eBay. So you could open up that sell similar window on eBay and then click the, the button and we'll transfer every detail we have into your sell similar, but you can also do it fresh. So you can click. So it'll work either way. Work with your draft or click the button and it'll open a new listing window and then just start listing. That's another thing that you have to build into a macro. You have to teach it which website to go to. So having that set up already is a huge time saver. And you guys know the name of the game is, this is kind of not talked about at Posh Fest, so if you guys are here, the size of your store is probably the number one indicator of how much money you're going to make. If you only have 10 items for sale, you can't sell more than 10 items. So like if you, and getting a larger store is all about time management. So just how much work are you putting into your store? And if you're spending time ending, ending listings, which is um, the most powerful tool in my opinion, because the listing part is essentially copy and paste. If you know, kind of, except yeah. for there's a little bit of adjusting. Yep. But the ending is a little bit more complicated. There are more, you have to search for the item, find it, then each mm -hmm. platform has a different way of ending it. So it's just, um, that's great that they're adding this. Is there any other features in the future that you guys want to add? <laughs> so many. Which one do we say? Well, uh, the the really cool thing that we can do right now is, um, we, uh, like Chris said, you can use the the sold button on our platform, and we'll end it everywhere. If you have used List Perfectly to cross post, but we're also introducing a feature of a pay per click. So, because we understand not everybody wants to be in a monthly subscription, and that's some feedback that we've gotten. So, we're going to introduce a product where if you just have 10 items that you want to cross post, you can do that with List Perfectly. Awesome. So, I do want to, um, you know, sometimes my channel is a little bit intimidating because people don't want a necessarily a e reseller business. They're just looking for a side hustle. They want to earn a great money between 10 and 20 hours a week. That's not BS, like multi level marketing, or they don't have to recruit their friends into some <laughs> makeup thing. So, this is like a reselling is real. You don't have, there's nothing fake about finding something and then reselling it. And you already have clothes in your closet. So, it's a great, the easiest entry into e commerce is clothing, and half of all e commerce sales are clothing. Not, not the um, yeah. dollar amount, but like the, the volume amount. So, you can definitely get started without very much risk. And I recommend um, if you are going to, depends on your, your end goal. If you want to do a business, I recommend definitely a monthly subscription. If you're just getting started, though, maybe just start with a few listings. Um, I think you guys have a, um, actually, we won't give that code out, but if you guys want a code, email me at chris at dailyrefinement.com and I'll give you guys a special link to try their services. But um, why don't we talk about the cost? So we have a simple plan, which is what we recommend for uh, beginners or someone that is using doing e-commerce for part-time or hobby. And this simple plan is $29. It has, as it says, it's very basic. Okay. Then we have a business option. Okay. That this one is $49. And then we have a pro or professional version, which is $69. Uh, the main difference as you go up in these uh, plans, okay, the main difference is that we're providing more details to the description. And that uh, the basic plan is pretty much what it says. Uh, the simple plan is just very basic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but just so you know, the simple plan isn't so simple. So if you, <laughs> if you wanted to build your descriptions, again, we're very description forward sellers. We believe that description really matters in making sales. So what we built in was a really powerful templating system. With one click, you can create and and apply your templates and and just start listing, just like speed up that listing process. So that comes with the simple plan as well. That is true. So I want to end on a final thought before we we ask how we can find these two ladies, um, and that is, in in e-commerce, the the holy grail of e-commerce is having replenishable items. You have an item that you can list sell over and over again without having to to find um, more product all the time, always being on the treasure hunt. But the reality is, those aren't that easy to find. 
Okay, there's, it's not easy to go find a sweater that you can reorder when it sells out. That's almost impossible in the clothing category because there's seasonality and they purposely produce limited runs so that it becomes more valuable. So I always recommend two, two approaches when you're doing e-commerce. One is you do have the one-off store and you keep it a certain size. So let's say you have a 500 item closet or store. You use this perfectly, get that 500 item store on as many platforms as possible. That way you can have a fastest turn. Mm -hmm. If you're selling 100 on eBay, add Poshmark, another 50, now you're getting all that cash flow in and you need that cash flow to get wholesale contracts, to get maybe a brick and mortar. The reality is it's, it's much easier to get a um, wholesale contract once you have a building and employees because the companies are like, oh, you have some skin in the game. But for people getting started, that's not a reality. You're not going to get, um, you know, Nike's not going to send you the new release in every single size. That's not, <laughs> doesn't work that way. You have to start from the beginning. So I recommend keeping that small one off store. Use, get on as many platforms as possible. Um, that's going to help you get the most exposure. And then don't go so heavy that you don't have time to learn replenishable items. Um, what you want to do is a small, tight, efficient, multi-platform store. That's the future. It used to be, it's almost like back in the day, and I'm not even that old, but I feel like the old, older generation, they feel like they should just be able to sell on one platform. And that's it, right? Like you just have one job. But now... People under 30 are averaging seven jobs from college to 30, which is a, a different job every year. Okay, so we're used to this, like, cobbling together all these different kinds of income. So I recommend really, really efficient small store, work on replenishable. So where can we find you guys? If they have more questions, how do they reach out to you guys? Listperfectly.com. Just come to the site. Uh, we do have a small waiting list right now, uh, but we're, we're working through it as quickly as we can. But we have a contact us. Uh, you just click contact and send us your questions. We'll get back to you. Like we're, we're always on emails. We're constantly monitoring. So, And also you can also follow us on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Stay in touch with us in our Facebook group or follow us in Instagram. Uh, we receive questions on Instagram or we receive questions on Facebook groups. So we're always open to your questions and anything we can do to help you. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank you for taking the time. Yes. And I will put a link in the description to their service. If you guys have any questions, email me. Take care, guys.